All right, guys, it's another cold day here in Pennsylvania. Um, we painted our all of our rear suspension stuff, our differential and springs and all that kind of stuff yesterday. Uh, today, we're probably going to tackle this motor. Um, we got sprayed yesterday. It's nice and dry now. Um, we're going to install the cam. We're going install, to install the oil pan. And we do have a rear main seal to put in, um, a front gasket kit. And like I said, get that Texas Speed cam slid in there, installed. Try and get this motor all wrapped up today. Um, see how far we get. First step is going to be get this balancer off. That was easy. Now we use our three jaw, jaw puller to pull this balancer off. Make sure you throw that away. Don't reuse that. We got the balancer off. We'll get that cleaned up before it goes back on and painted. Uh, we got the nasty oil pan off. We're gonna put our uh, new oil new oil pan back on. And I guess the next step, we can go ahead and pull this front cover off. And probably the valve covers also, because we have to loosen the valve train up. Loosen up our valve train. Got our valve train loosened up and out of the way. Now we can pull our push rods out. We have new push rods to go in, so we'll just get rid of these. Nothing wrong with them, they're just stock. Now we need to line our timing marks up. We have our spark plugs out of the cylinder so we can spin it over freely. And we're just gonna line that mark there up with the, the dot that's on the crank here. So we'll spin this over. It's a little shaky because it's on the hoist here. All right, I got a flashlight for you so you can see. So there's the mark on the cam sprocket and down there, you can barely see it, but there is a dot on the crank sprocket and you just line those up straight up and down, touching each other or pointing towards each other. So once that's done, we can back these three bolts out for our timing gear, pull our timing chain off and a gear and that accesses the retainer for the cam. All right, this next step, of course, we have to take these four retainer bolts off, which will allow the cam to come out, but we still have our lifters in the motor. These LS motors do have lifter trays that hold the lifters. Sometimes they wear and they don't, uh, they still keep the lifter from rotating. They're still doing their job, but they allow the lifter to drop down uh, too easy. So when you pull this cam out, it will actually, the lifter will slip out of the tray and fall down through the motor. And the only way to fix that is if it's in the car, you gotta drop the pan and retrieve the lifter. But then you also have to pull the head to get the lifter back in its place. An easy way to tell whether they're gonna stay or not is spin the cam over by hand, get all your lifters up, and then take a push rod and push down on each one of them. And as long as they all have some tension and they're not falling down, um, all these have a slight amount of tension. I, you know, I, just the way the push rod doesn't push them down, I actually have to push. So all these trays seem to be uh, retaining the lifter extremely well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna chance it. Uh, we're gonna spin that cam over, get that lifter back up. We're gonna slide this cam out, slide our new one in, and we'll be good. I say chance it, but we're, we're not really chancing it. Uh, we just did that test to confirm that all the lifters will stay up. If they weren't, you, uh, you can actually, once you remove this plate, there's two galleys, oil galleys. You can put wooden dowels in there to hold them up, or um, there's a couple other methods of uh, holding, retaining those lifters up in the, in the motor. Uh, now what I did, the turbo, the cam and the turbo GMC, I did the same test and we had two of them that were not holding up. Uh, they, they fell down uh, with no pressure at all. So I, I chose not to do it this way on that motor. Um, not that those lifter trays were bad, but they, uh, they did not retain the lifter up in place. So it's every motor is a little different. We've got a retainer off. Here's the oil galley holes I was talking about stick wooden dowels in. Like I said, we're good with this one. They're staying up. 
Um, an easy way to grip that cam and get it out the first couple lubes is uh, run some water pump bolts that are the same size, they're just longer so you can grab a hold of them. And uh, we'll get our new cam all cleaned up, lubed up, and ready to install so when we slip this out, we can slip the, the, that one right back in. Here's our new cam. As you can see, it's scribed around the end. I think it's laser etched. Exactly what cam it is, and it's a TSB, Texas Speed Performance. And they actually ship them out sealed in a bag. So we'll get, even though it's sealed in a bag, we're still going to pull it out and rinse it down real quick, blow it off some air, and uh, get it ready to install. There it is. There's our old cam. Let's get that new one slid in. We got it started in there and definitely lube up your journals as we go. Lubes in, journals. There it is, Texas Speed Cam installed. It's the 224R. Guess I forgot to say that. Went back in with no issues. They torqued down to 18 foot pounds. And we're good to go. Next we'll put our timing chain and gear back on. Uh, easiest way to do it is just slip the, the chain, pull the chain up, slip the, the cam gear in there and let it kind of hang down. You can spin it to get it where you need it. Just make sure it engages on that bottom sprocket. Uh, line your uh, marks up. As you can see, the dowel for the cam needs to be kind of pointed straight over to the driver's side. So we'll just index the cam around to that dowel is real close and uh, get that lined up. Once you have that lined up, get your bolts. Again, put some Loctite on these bolts. You don't want these to back out. It makes a mess. With those in there, um, we're going to torque these down to 26 foot-pounds and then we're good to go with the cam install. We can move on to the spring install. I went ahead and popped the rear cover, rear main seal cover off. We're just going to go ahead and do it. You can see the Texas Speed Cam actually right there real good. But we went ahead and popped this off. We're just going to go ahead and do it. This seemed dry, but why not do it? We're right here. They're not very much. And you do have to align this, and I do have the alignment tool, which I'll show you. All right, we got our cover cleaned up. Um, we got our alignment tool here. And that's from SacCityCorvettes.com. Once that's lined up, you can take a straight edge and put it across the block here and just make sure, like I said, you still have a little bit of rotational movement, but it's definitely centered up with the crank with this tool in there. So just eye that up with a straight edge, make sure that looks good. This one looks good. We'll get the bolts snugged up and torqued down. So once you have that lined up, you pull the alignment, or tightened up, you pull the alignment tool back out. Now we need to put the rear main seal in. And um, there's actually little grooves on the seal. It is labeled this side out on the seal, right on that lip I was talking about. So anyway, we're putting, we're gonna drive this seal in. Um, and this alignment tool actually doubles as a seal installer too. So we'll use this to drive that tool in square. So with a couple light taps around the outside, your rear main seal is installed. As, you, as hopefully you can see, it says this side out. Just confirm that when you're done. Now I'm gonna move on to the windage tray. We got it slipped up on there. It comes with new nuts in the kit. So we're gonna loosely tight, get them started. Uh, we do have to put the oil pump pickup tube on also, and it, it attaches to this one, and I think one over here. So uh, let's get that slipped up on there too. All right, the oil pump pickup tube obviously goes right into the bottom of the oil pump right there. It has a tab there, tab on the other side that just goes on the studs of the um, windage tray. So we'll get that slipped up on there and get the, the one bolt on. Again, GM didn't, but I am. It's a little bit of a thread locker, thread uh, Loctite on the bolt that holds the oil pump pickup tube to the oil pump. You use a little bit of a engine assembly lube helps get that O-ring to pop in that housing there. This bolt, uh, the oil pump pickup tube to the oil pump housing is 106 inch pound. The rest of the window tray bolts, or actually nuts, are uh, 18 foot-pounds. 
All right, so normally we would put the front cover back on now, um, and I did remove the front seal because I have a new seal. I'm just not quite happy with the way it turned out. I think I'm going to go ahead and glass bead it and put it back to the original aluminum look. Um, I kind of like that better. The painted look isn't terrible, but uh, I didn't really plan on painting it, so I didn't prep it real good, and I'm just not happy with the finish. So the balancer needs glass bead anyway, so we'll glass bead that and this and uh, put that back on and then install the oil pan. Now, now to tackle the valve springs. <clears throat> this is kind of tedious. It's definitely easier being able to stand right here beside the motor, you know, right here eye level. But we have our comp cams, uh, valve spring tool, compressor tool. Um, you you do use your uh, rocker tray. Bolt this thing down, um, tighten this up, of course, pull your lifters out. You can put air in the cylinder to hold the valves up in place. And um, it's, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Takes a little while to do. You're going to uh, compress this, pull the keepers out, release the pressure off this, uh, get this plate out of the way, pull the springs, locks, retainers, everything out, and put your drop your new ones in. We did go with the pack uh, beehive springs for this cam kit so let's get it done all the valve springs are on all that went well <clears throat> now we have some uh, new hardened push rods again they're in a bag clean it's always a good idea to spray at least compressed air through them to make sure everything's <clears throat> as it should be um, Sometimes I like to spray some cleaner down and just make sure you air dry them off with the, the compressed air before you put them in. But let's get these installed and get the rockers back on. Rockers are all on, torqued down to 22 foot pounds. All right, I threw the oil pan back on, uh, the front cover back on, the valve cover is just kind of loosely on there. Um, like I said, we're gonna blast this still. We have to blast that, uh, the balancer, and a couple other small brackets and clips. Um, <clears throat> But th threw all that back on just to keep dust and dirt out. But it looks a lot better. When I get that cover blasted, I think it's going to really look good. Um, anyway, we also got some of the parts that we painted installed. We got the the support for the, the all the extreme trucks had this extra support in, in between these uh, uprights. And we also got that custom made cross member I made for the exhaust. Got it bolted in loosely. Um, we'll go ahead and tighten all of this stuff up. Uh, we Supposedly, we, we finally got an answer on our brake lines. I hope they're correct. They're saying their website was messed up and I got a kit for 2000 and up and this is a 98.99 kit that I need. So hopefully that's correct. They're shipping it out. It's gonna be, I really hope by the end of the week, um, we've got our springs hanging. They're painted, hanging on the frame. Now we just need to get this rear. We got it transported up here too. We just need to get this attached to those springs and get the frame lowered down and attach the shackles. See what we can do. Well, there you got it, guys. We got the rear suspension mocked up. Nothing's tight. We still have to align these pins up, but uh, it is supported by itself now. Back attached to the frame which is, in my book, a big step. Um, finish adjusting everything, get everything snug down, and uh, we're probably gonna call it there tonight. It's getting a little late, but anyway, some progress going. We got the, the cam in the motor, um, some parts back on it. Definitely got the suspension mocked back up in the, in the back here. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Have a good day. Please subscribe.